Now I'm out here in Burnett, a uh, property I've been uh, been on before. An older lady, she has quite a bit of hog issues and uh, I'm looking at a group of hogs right now down there. So let's take a quick look here. I'm counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Might be, oh, there's more in the back. Holy cow, okay. Could be deer, I can't see really. Let's take a quick look here. They've been out here for a while. Uh, my task will be just try to get down there on this fence line, maybe. Though they're moving closer, I need to. I forgot my binos in the in the truck. I think there's more hawks behind it. Could also be deer, though it's hard to see. I need to check the wind and see if I can sneak down on that fence line, get a few shots off. But my my thinking is there's probably quite a few hawks out there, and even after dark. I have to take a few shots here. There should be still more picks coming in later. Even from that fence line though, it's still a bit of a shot out there, I don't know. I need to bring my rangefinder to get an idea how far that would be. It's getting chilly too. Also the new head sign. So if you guys are interested, go to texasyak.com, click on shop, and they're on there. Be shooting my 38 Rome Red River Ultralight, Thor 4640, 2.5 by 25. Got a little uh, Holosun 45 degree reflex sight on it too. Quite a bit of shooting going in the background, so that might help. Alright, let's get this going.
hit more than that, but they kept going. And the damn branch wasn't over here too. Too many shots, not enough bodies. That'll be the entry wound. Maybe that was the entry wound, I can't remember what way he was looking. So that was the first one I shot at and he dropped. Then the group started running. Uh, I wanted to take one out further so I could lure them back in. They would run towards the fence line where I was and that ultimately also happened, but there was some terrible shooting on those running hogs. Uh, there's one more down over there and I found at least one blood trail going into the into the fence line. I heard a few more thumps. Now I don't know, you'll look at the video later or see uh, how many possibly I had. I think at least three, so two on the ground. I heard one more grunting in the in the tree line and that's you know where the blood trail went. Uh, there could possibly be more, but who knows. But those are not the biggest. There's going to be bigger hogs out here. That's like the, the yearlings group here. Just messing around in the oats. I put some corn down just now. I'm going to leave those suckers in the ground for now. See if I can lure some uh, coyotes in maybe. I need a re-ammo. Dropped a lot of rounds. I hit, hit at least... Like it was a branch right in front of me, at least hit that branch once and then uh, I don't know how many shots I took. It was a bunch. Alright, those new KC Highlights Flex Era 3 seem to be putting out um, pretty nice light. I have a pretty distinct spot out there, there's a combo. Top two LEDs are spotlight, the bottom two are flood. And it's a pretty decent uh, throw of light. So. Definitely upgrade from the Flex Aero 3. Alright, let's get more ammo and then uh, 
see what else is coming, it's coming in. It's only, I don't know. Come on, 7.22. So, the night is still young. Yeah. I dropped my lens cap from the Thor 4 on the way back. So I'm gonna have to rewalk that later and see if I can find that again. That's a bit annoying. All right. Wow, I got a lot colder than I thought. I think it's below 50 now or something. Definitely didn't, didn't dress for that today. But yeah, that last pig I just shot, there was a, um, a boar. He wasn't the biggest, but yeah, I thought I was right on him. It sounded good, but he ran off and further than I thought. Um, but ultimately it was a long shot. There was quite a bit of blood in the ground. I just followed the trail. He went maybe 20 yards in bet behind that uh, uh, tree line. There's uh, this guy right here. Compared to the other ones, it's a good size, but uh, yeah, not the biggest boar. But it's all good, so I got four four picks in the ground. I mean, three here, and then there's, there's one back here in the trees. Uh, they didn't follow the blood trail, but uh, from the sounds of it earlier, it shouldn't be too far. But yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna call it good. It is definitely too cold for my preference right now. We got a few traps on this place, so I talked to the owner, um, and she, yeah, I think she wants us to come out to do some GPS tracking, figure out where they're better down. The neighbors are interested in it too. It sounds like so. Probably gonna come come up here pretty quick and do that. Um, they have a bigger corral trap back there. We just need to get um, figure out a few more panels need to be installed and then we can set that hopefully get a pig in there but well then again that's a corral trap that would be kind of interesting to do the pig wrestling in there it might be better just to use a single trap they have on back here too what is the funny stuff I have in my beard here um, might be easier just to use one of those single traps they have here too um, I feel like it's easier to grab the pig out of that trap and then do our thing. Super bummed out that uh, that pig on the Brushy Creek was able to, to just get that that uh, color off. It's mind blowing. But then again, looking at the at that pig here, I mean, it almost doesn't have a neck. It's just body, fairly fat body, and then just right into the head. It's a weirdly shaped pig, and somehow. I managed to get this stupid tracker off. Anyways, at least we got the tracker back. That's good. I'm pretty happy with those with those flex. So that right there, that right there would be the flex era four, and then that one over there. That's the other one. They throw further than the Flex Era 3. I mean, much bigger light. Four LEDs instead of three. On the other one, I think I had one spot LED and two uh, wide LEDs, and this one, two spot, two wide. And yeah, just much much bigger light. Not much more draw, too. Uh, I had to uh, wire it into um, a separate le relay because the other one was definitely getting hot. I was using a thermal check on the temperature and then yeah you could see it but also uh, it felt pretty warm pretty quickly so 
didn't want to run that off just one relay. They get a little warmer than uh, the Flex Air 3, but again, bigger light, so it kind of makes sense. And then they also have that uh, orange one LED in the middle, which is, uh, which is a pretty nice feature. I have those also now on my power wagon. And uh, yeah, um, I'll be testing them out here on the way back because all I ever had in the power wagon was just uh, the regular lights and the 2017 models, so it only has the, the good old fashioned light bulbs in there, no, no LEDs. So I'm pretty excited about that. Also got lucky with ordering them. Uh, I ordered right when they came out. I got the email the same day or a few minutes later I ordered them. And Power Wagon Chris tried to get some too and out of stock. Oh, you almost had it. You've got to be quicker than that. So, I did good. Alright, let's pack up. I'm going to leave those hogs on the ground. Uh, the uh, owner's son is going to come here tomorrow, I think. Help out some stuff in the farm and then uh, he might have some luck to get some coyotes off his bait pile. So, I'm not going to hurt anything out here. There's no cows down here right now. And the uh, worst case, it's going to be coyote and buzzard food. Um, yeah, still need to go look for my little lens cap, see if I can find that. Otherwise, I think that's it. So that's a wrap. Thank you guys for watching again. Again, if you guys want to follow along, I'm still on Instagram. I ditched Facebook. I had enough of that BS. Um, I'm on MeV. I'm trying it out. It's pretty quiet on there, so I'm not paying too much attention to it. But Instagram is right now it's the spot. On my website, texasyak.com. Get yourself one of those cool hats. That's a 3D path. Um, trying different companies right now. They did an okay job. They could have done better. But uh, I, I like those hats. They're, they're nice, they're flex, uh, flex fit. You know, because I have a big hat, I need to fit this thing in there. I don't like the snapbacks. It looks stupid, and if you have it, put them in the the last hole so you know flex fit and I have um, small to medium and large to x large so thank you guys for watching again I appreciate you and I'll be back